Happy Friday, everybody. So I want to talk about something Father Han said at Mass. He mentioned something in his homily, and it struck me because it's true, okay? He mentioned our internal monologue. So you know what that is. That's that running tape that we have going through our head um, that continues as long as we're conscious um, to speak what we're thinking, what we're worried about, what we have going on in our life and our response to it. And that internal monologue, you know, is something that we think only we are aware of, right? It's not true. Who do you think can hear it? So first of all, I'll say another thing. People can see it written all over our face, right? You know how it is when you're unhappy about something, when you're happy, um, when you're disgusted. I mean, I could give you a variety of um, emotions that we wear on our face based on what's going on in this monologue. And so I think we need to be mindful of the fact that even though it's in our head, there are ways that what we're thinking becomes audible to the people around us, right? Even if it's just by looking at us. I'm going to tell you somebody else that hears and knows everything that goes on in our mind, right? It's God. And I think it would be good for all of us to consider the fact that everything that we think, everything that we're worried about, happy about, everything that we have going on in our mind is not going unnoticed by Jesus, right? That's our God. And what if we turned everything that we thought over to God? What if that became, instead of a monologue where I talk to myself, which is often not helpful and doesn't really illuminate much for myself uh, if I think I'm the only one that needs to hear what I'm thinking. But what if I take what I'm thinking, that monologue, and turn it into a dialogue of prayer. It allows us to take every moment of our lives. You know, we've heard about the idea of praying without ceasing. What if we take that internal monologue and turn it into a dialogue with Jesus? Jesus, after all, is a human like us. He's also our God. And who would know better that internal monologue than him? I'm going to also remind us if we want to hear a response to that monologue or to now what we're turning into a dialogue, how would we hear? How about looking at scripture? Because the written word of God is Jesus himself. So as we have a dialogue with Jesus, why don't we also allow him to speak to us through his written word? Think about that and have a great weekend and take a moment to not only use our thoughts to be a conversation with our God and a reason to open the Bible. Have a great weekend, everybody, and hold on. We're going into February, so get ready because we're approaching Lent. Talk to you next week.